This man is a doctor. And like many successful men of medicine, he's living the dream, cruises the streets in his Hummer, comes home each night to a decked out crib, spoils his beautiful wife, Rotten. Honey, is this the right person for this dress? The only difference is that his patients are trees. They say money doesn't grow on trees, but for me it does. Meet tree doctor, John Long. Rodrigo, look for a symptomatic leaf, please. Did you find one? I'm John Long, I'm a professional arborist, and I'm the owner of We Love Trees, and the main focus of my job is to save trees from the oak wilt disease. If it comes in and knocks on the tree's door, the tree's deader than a doornail. But you know what? Because of that, I've made millions. There it is, that's the oak wilt disease, Rigo. Oak wilt is a devastating, contagious, vascular disease that spreads from tree to tree through their interconnecting roots. It can kill an oak tree in 30 days, and it's been particularly destructive in John's domain of Central Texas. What happens is the tree recognizes that the invader's coming in, that the fungus is overtaking it, and the tree blocks all of those vascular systems and strangles itself out. Dies from drought-like conditions, and this is what you see above. John's main defense against the oak wilt disease is digging a deep trench to quarantine the infected oaks. But to slice through rocky soil, you need one hell of a knife. We call her Sancha. Sancha is kind of the slang for our girlfriend, just because we're always attached to her. I've been on top of Sancha when it was snowing on me, when it was light, when it was so hot you could have cooked an egg on the hood of this thing. Sancha's tough, the Texas weather's tough, and it just makes it tough. Woo! But an effective quarantine requires a large area, and that can mean trapping healthy trees inside. Luckily, John has a way to save them, too. We use a product called Alamo through an injection protocol. It is an IV for a tree. You know, once we introduce the medicine into the tree, we have made this tree bulletproof. Saving trees is not only commendable, it's profitable. Because John's host of services don't come cheap. The trenching alone will run you 5,000. Throw in some injections, planting, and tree services, and you're talking six grand more. So yeah, John can rake in $11,000 in a single day. And in a good month, we're talking well over six figures. Absolutely fantastic. With profit margins that would put an MD to shame. While the average physician's office nets about 10%, Dr. Long can make four times that on a bad day. All of our protocols, the minimum is somewhere between 40 and 80 profit level. On planting trees, we may go down to the 40s. Let's say that we're root trenching. We're in the high 70s on profit. On the injection, we may be at an 80% profit level. John's margins are making his pockets deep, but his passion for trees runs even deeper. When I was a kid, I lived in a beautiful neighborhood that was filled with beautiful oak trees. This was the place I grew up. And then something happened down on that corner. Somebody brought in some infected firewoods. Before you knew it, the tree mortality started coming down the street, just like a forest fire. I remember just thinking to myself, man, how could something happen so quick with no explanation? And while that oak wilt incident had a big effect on young John, it wasn't until after college that it inspired him to branch out. I started out getting a college education, following a white collar path, and quickly decided it wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to earn money based upon the fruits of my labor. So John changed gears and turned his attention to battling his childhood nemesis, oak wilt disease. But to wage a war, he needed the right weapon, that rock saw. He needed $9,000 to make a deposit to buy the rock saw. And I support him, letting him use my savings, my money. But he wants his dream profession. So it was a good decision. I was headed to buy me a rock saw, and the business just expanded to friends and family, took off through word of mouth. It was a really fast rise today. My net worth is somewhere between 1.3 and 1.4 million. I believe if I work hard and I take care of trees, the money's gonna take care of itself. And you know what? It does. I work hard to provide my family the lifestyle they want. John also loves to pamper the one who helped him get it all started. You're the king of decoration and redecoration, so. The queen. 
the queen of... John and I, we are very different. He's a cut boy from Texas, and I'm... Que le encanta la vida buena, le encantan las cosas buenas, and that's the reason we are like a good team. These are my purses, Louis Chanel, Dolce, Cabanas. I just like good things. Here is where I spend lots of times when I come back from the gym. I just love to, like, a salt and have a bath. This is my bed. It's very expensive. When we saw it in Colombia, I just asked John to buy, and he did it. Oh, my God. It is. It pleasures me greatly to be able to buy Paula the things of her heart. But for me, I love to hunt. I love to fish. We have a fantastic condominium in Cali, Colombia. To go down and sit on the beach and seeing your kids playing out in the blue ocean surf, having the time of their lives, very thankful for them. Gently stick it back in the quiver without cutting the string. John has spent his life saving trees, but most days he feels like the trees saved him. Following a white collar path, it felt like I was trapped in a box. And when I stumbled into this opportunity to work hard, to be my own boss and saving trees, it was like I was let out of jail, and that was, made me the happiest day of my life. When we get home, what are we going to hear for not getting a pig? Qué vergüenza. Qué vergüenza.